here we have a cell of constant electromotive force, but with internal resistance. Why they do this to us? With internal resistance, but the diagram they draw is like this. Mm, 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 mm. So what is the diagram? Why is the diagram for internal resistance? Usually they will draw it like this. They'll put a little R and they'll draw a box. Something like that. But I mean, cases like this, you kind of have to read the question to know that there's internal resistance. Anyway, connected to a fixed resistor using a potential meter. A voltmeter measures the potential difference between the terminals of the cell. Which statement explains a change in the reading of the voltmeter as contact Z is moved towards end X of the potential meter? So the contact is like something you take and poke, ah, like a poke there. So we're going to move this point downwards a bit. Okay. Mm. So does the so what what changes are? Uh? How does resistance change? Because you see the answer they ask. They are all asking about voltmeter reading number one, and they're asking about current through the cell. So to answer those questions, we will need to think of how resistance is changing for the whole circuit. So this voltmeter reading is let's let's look and see what is this voltmeter measuring. This little voltmeter here is measuring what we call terminal potential difference. Means, if you poke the ends of the battery, what is the battery actually supplying to everybody else? Then, current through the cell. That would be just... Wait, what direction is this? Oh, yeah, here. Current, no? Current. So, current is affected by your total circuit resistance. Voltmeter reading, which is terminal PD, is affected by current. The bigger the current, the smaller your terminal potential difference. Because of an annoying thing called loss of volts, this internal reserve will cause you to lose energy. So your EMF, you expect 9 volts, suddenly your terminal PD is smaller. Why? Because of this annoying thing. Okay, so... Let's write out the list first before we think through all the things. So if current is large, or let's, say, let's say if current increase, you will lose a lot of energy, lost volts in the battery. So your terminal PD will decrease. This is kind of the first few facts that I can, I can write down lah for myself to keep my brain together. This is one possible option. Now if the current decrease, less current, then the battery will not be so hot. That means the terminal potential difference increase. Less loss volts. So less lost volts. This one is... Eh, sorry. Less... Why did I write it there? Less energy loss. So less lost volts. If current very big, you lose a lot. So this is more... Lost volts. So you lose already, then your termin battery GG already, though, cannot give out so much energy. With these two points in mind, here comes the question. So what did what happened to current? Did it increase or did it decrease? How do we know from this thing? I kind of use a a a, a trick a cheating way. Uh. I assume that this is a resistor inside this circuit. So one possible option is what if I connect here in the beginning? What if lah? Let's rub off the this thing. Yeah. So what if I connect like that leh? What will be the resistance? Uh, let's just choose some values then. Let's let's say this is this is R. Sure. Then I will have some kind of circuit that looks like this. If it's connect on the first that end up here, then it will be like this. Okay, redraw a bit like this and like this. So this is R, this is R. What is the total resistance? If I assume that their, their resistance is R. La. This one will give me half R. Okay, fair enough. Let's see what if I move that blue color arrow down. So I move the slider down, move, 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 move towards X. 
let's say we are currently pointing here. Move to the end already. Okay, so we move towards x ma, right? So this will be an equivalent circuit at position 2. Here will be something like this. And then like this. Two resistors. Okay. So how would I find the total resistance of this thing? Here go a small trap. Huh? Be careful. The current come in from here. Then you will come to this crossroad. Now he has a choice. Does it want to go to the resistor or does it want to go to the path with no resistance? Truth is, current will choose a path of no resistance. So we'll just go here. Go current flow through the this thing or not? No more. It bypass. It doesn't even go through the resistor. So it's you pretty much can cut and throw away that resistor and it's just just one just one R here. So your total resistance here is just Ah, the other co resistor is completely not used. It's just chilling there. So, we look at the change. Changing from half R, if we assume these values, change to R. This is a increase in R. Okay, so then we go back to our list on the left side. If current is increase sorry if resistance increase more resistance current cannot flow very fast so current decrease if current decrease what happened to terminal potential difference our v increase how do i know that from this part current decrease Terminal potential difference increase. Okay. So that's the end of this question. Now we can finally go and see the answers. <sighs> so we need something that says voltmeter reading will increase. So that's possibly C or D. Why? Because current decrease. This one is the best choice here. Ding. Oh, this question damn tricky. Like, I tell you. Even if you didn't get to reach the last conclusion here on the right side, if you manage to figure out how current affect terminal potential difference, you can cancel out some ideas already. Okay, so what you can do is you look at this one: current increase, V decrease. So current increase, V decrease. Okay, this correct combo. Then you look at D: current increase, V increase. Wrong combo of V and I. So if you didn't know how to do this, at least you can still guess a little better. Then we look at the other case. If current decrease, V increase. Okay, so we look current decrease, V, nani? You cannot have decrease and decrease. Does not work that way. They, are, they don't work like that. One must increase, the other must decrease. So B and C also, if you... At the same time, you're like, ha, A, B or C, ah. you, if you don't know which one, you just... Pick a guess, hope it's correct. Okay, so that's all for this question. Lah.